much for being here and taking time out of your Tuesday. I can't believe it's May 20th and uh, the week is just flying by. The month has flown by. Um, I see some brand new faces. Uh, Laura, what's happening? Becky, what's happening? How's it going? Looks like Melinda's connecting to audio. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. But today what I wanted to cover was just a couple of things. Number one is just some basics for getting started and like what to really focus on in your first month. And then number two, I wanted to cover just some basic social media, uh, getting posts up and really kind of helping uh, maybe even walking a few of you directly through doing that. What's happening, Greg? How's it going? So in the chat, you can see we have the chat box. Uh, feel free to use that to ask questions or just type them out there and I will uh, get to them. I apologize, can you shut my door? Uh, children are a little bit noisy this morning, but that's what, you, what they do when they have kids, right? <laughs> they are loud. Um, Trina, what's up? All right, good to see all your faces. If you have the ability to turn your camera on, turn the camera on, because I do love seeing your faces. Um, okay. So let's start with just a couple of basics. Number one is um, earning free product. Like the, the number one goal that we all should have on a monthly basis, just make sure that we at least get some ketones for free. And I wanna explain a little bit about how that works and what you need to make sure that you have set up in order to activate it or have access to it. Um, so what I'm gonna do real quick is just log into a account here. And do, 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 do. this will show my smart share perfect. Um, and what I'll do is show you step number one is make sure that you have a smart chip. This might be super, super basic for some, but I know that we have lots and lots of brand new people. So I want you to be able to access your cloud. So first off, if you go to any of our prove it websites, if you go to proveitnow.com or if you go to challenge.com, somewhere in the top, you're going to see a button that says login. So click on that. That will take you to your login screen. When you log in, um, it will take you here. Uh, and what we're going to look at here is where it says our smart chip. It says my smart chip. It says, do I have an active smart chip? Yes. If your smart chip is not active, you need to activate it and just click enable. Um, and then you can choose the product that you're going to put on there. Now, I recommend that you all have a smart chip active right away uh, as soon as possible because it won't bill or ship for 30 days. So a lot of people are like, well, I'll wait when I'm ready, then I'll activate it. Well, then you won't get your product for 30 more days. So set it up now. If anybody ever has an issue, they can always click the cancel button. With two clicks, their smart chip is canceled. They please change the product so you can adjust what you want. We're constantly changing what is on our product or on our smart chip. And then after your first smart chip runs, the first one has to run then you have some flexibility in when the date is if you need to change the date for some reason. Um, so this is just make sure that this is set up. And then that's step number one. Step number two is we wanna help you get uh, two customers to start with. Where's my screen here? Trying to end share. There we go. Step number two is we want to help you get two customers and your customers need to be on smart chip themselves and that qualifies you to earn prove it bucks. The way that they calculate what you earn is they take the average of their orders and that's what they give you in prove it bucks. So for example, if you have one person that buys one box, let's say they buy just a box of lime time at normal price, which is 130 bucks. And then let's say that you have one person that buys two boxes. So this person buys one for 130, this one buys two for 260. Um, I'm helping my six year old do subtraction and addition. She hasn't learned how to average yet, but 260 plus 130 is what? 390 divide that by two and you get 195. Whew. That was a stretch there. I didn't need to use a calculator. So you'd get 195 prove it bucks. Those prove it bucks will be deposited into your prove it buck wallet on the first of the next month. So for our month, it would be on June 1st. Then when your smart chip goes to run, the system's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to say, do you have a smart chip? Yes, you have a smart chip. Then it's going to look for the second thing. It says, do you have two smart chip customers? As long as it can say yes to that, then it's going to say, how much is your smart chip? And it's, if it's your smart chip is, let's say, three boxes, so it's $300, and you have 195 prove-it bucks, it's going to pull 195 prove-it bucks, and then it's going to charge your card for the rest of the smart chip. 
So if you have two boxes on SmartShip, that's $201 because the boxes are $101 uh, per box on SmartShip. Um, it's going to say, oh, $202, and we're going to use 195 Cribit bucks, so it's going to charge you six. Right? If you have one, it'll use 101, and it will leave you with 93 or whatever, 94 in your account. So that's kind of how the Pruitt Bucks work and that's how SmartShip works. So our first goal is to help you hit that. Our second goal is if, if you're really ready to charge and, and share this with people is to hit what's called GoPro and hit what's called Go MVP. Those happen in the first um, 30 days. If you're already past that, you're running for something slightly different and we call it a multiplier. It's essentially the same, um, the same metric though. So I'm gonna share my screen one more time here. And I'm going to show you. So if you go to your um, rewards tab, if you go and log into your account and you click on rewards, it'll bring you here. If you scroll down, this is where it says weekly bonus. The first thing that you're gonna see is just your rank. Um, and this kind of tells you, this is our ranking system. It's just designed to help you keep track. You start at rank one, the goal is to hit rank 10. I mean, that's like, that's a long, long-term goal. Um, if you wanna see what's required for the next rank, you just click on it and it's gonna tell you. All of the lines in here, you'll notice that if you put your cursor over it, it tells you what you have versus what you need. So you can kind of keep track of where you're at. Um, so let this kind of just be a indicator of how many people you're helping with ketones and how many ketones are getting out into the marketplace. Right, so now if we go down here to weekly bonus, we're gonna see where it says Go Pro, Go MVP, and the MVP multiplier. So again, if you just got started, you're running for this. The, the Go Challenge starts once you enroll your first customer or two weeks after you enroll, whichever is first. So there's nothing you have to do to start it. It'll just start automatically. I had somebody text me yesterday. She's like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done this. I didn't realize I had to get two people in the first 14 days. You don't have to do any of this. It's all just kind of added bonus. It's added, it's exciting, it's fun. Um, if you don't hit it, it's okay. Uh, if you do hit it, that's awesome. You get extra uh, commissions, which is cool. So first part, GoPro, we need two customers, eight, a thousand in what's called team volume. 800 of that has to come from you directly. The other 200 can come if you enroll a promoter and they do something or you have customers that refer people. Um, you just need this total points. Now, again, everything's calculated for you. So when it happens, if you enroll a customer, you put your cursor over it and it shows you how many points each box is worth. A full price box of Nat is worth 80. The challenge kit is worth 50. The reboot is worth 60, just to give you an idea. Uh, so to hit this, it's about 13 boxes at normal price of uh, Keto Nat or it's 20 challenge kits or a combination of challenge however it comes out. Um, you can info, it will show you what you earn. You earn an extra $250 and you earn 100, 100 prove it bucks. MVP is the second one. This is cool, especially right now, if you hit this in 30 days, you're gonna get a $500 bonus. Plus, because you guys did the Dollar Keto Club uh, promotion, you're going to get um, $500 extra just for hitting this. Uh, which is awesome. Now, if you're already outside of this window, maybe you get started in the beginning of April or maybe you got started in March. Um, after your window is up, so if your window does not include any day, um, you get to run for what's called multiplier. And it's essentially the same thing for customer 2000 in new volume for the month, or sorry, 1600 in new volume for the month, 2000 in team volume and you get $250 every time you hit this on top of your normal commissions. If you hit it three months in a row, you actually get an extra $750 on top of that 250. So these are just kind of metrics to track, metrics to kind of push yourself and have some fun with. Um, again, they're added bonuses on top of what you'd normally earn, and they're there to reward behavior and reward activity. So I see a couple questions. Um, if you guys have questions after seeing that, come off mute. I just wanted to go over that so that you have it. I don't, you don't need to memorize it. You don't need to worry about it, but I want you to be aware of what's possible and what's available as you start to go through. I see a hand up. <laughs> Melinda, you can go ahead and come off mute. You don't have to raise your hand. What's up? I'm a teacher, so, you know, raise your hand. <laughs> I know my, my six-year-old. 
Uh, I see her raising the hand on the Zoom. She'll be like putting her hand right in front of the screen. It makes me laugh. Can you go, go through it. the colors on the Insight so we can, I can't remember how to figure out if they're on SmartShip or not on SmartShip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can share Thank that. You. Um, do, do, do. I want to answer uh, Dana's question. I've been getting people to sign up on SmartShip right away to ensure that they get their discount for their next order. If they have their first run date, for example, June 16th, they want to push it out. Is that possible with their first one? So if you if you sign somebody up today, it is the what, 19th? Um, and their next, the, today would be their first order, not a SmartShip. It would just be their order. They're setting up their SmartShip. It'll run in 30 days. So it'll run the 19th of June they cannot change that date until it runs, right? They can always cancel it, but after it runs, it will run again the next 19th, but after it runs, they'll have some flexibility if they wanna push the date out. They can't change it into another calendar month, um, but the system, like what it's doing is saying, we're gonna give you a discount for being a loyal customer, for committing to drinking ketones. Um, they, but the, the change the date thing doesn't always work. Um, like sometimes you can't move it up Oh, I want it tomorrow. I want another one. I want another one. It, it, uh, it's, it's not quite that flexible, but it does give some people like a, a week window. So they just cancel them. I, just have them set it up. Honestly, uh, the best option for a new customer is to start with a box and set up a smart chip. They can cancel it with one button. Um, I generally don't have anybody have an issue. In fact, Prove It sends them an email five days prior and says, hey, your smart chip's coming. Do you want to add different flavors or change it? They even send them an email like the day before. So Prove it does. Prove it would much rather them cancel it than them be unhappy. Uh, it's the first like non gotcha uh, customer subscription program that I found. Usually, it's like if you don't fax this letter in with your left arm attached to it by the fifteenth of the month, you can't get out for the next month. <laughs> um, definitely not the case here. So great question. They, so they do have control over their smart chip. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and then one thing for you guys to know when you are enrolling customers and or promoters, the easiest way for you to see them, let me screen share again. There we go. I think you guys can all see my screen. Perfect. So you're gonna go um, into your cloud again and you're gonna go to manage and then under community, this is where you see your people. And your people are gonna show up in some different colors based upon what, uh, what they decided to do. So you'll see that it shows your name over here and it shows you as purple because you're a promoter. I'm not sure if they chose purple because it starts with a P or Y, but I think that sounds good. Um, when it loads, you're gonna see green icons, you're gonna see orange icons, you're gonna see gray and purple. The ones that you got to look out for are the gray ones because a gray icon means that they typed in their username, they created a password, they verified their phone number, and then something happened. Either they got the str oh, look, I got a gray. So, Anik Benoit, either she is in the process of ordering right now and hasn't completed it, or she started and then something happened. Her credit card didn't go through, or she had an issue with her address or whatever it is. So I need to reach out to Anik, Anik and say, hey, what's happening? How's it going? Just want to check in. I see you were uh, working on getting some ketones and you had some issues. So you can see gray it, uh, is not super uncommon. I have a lot of them. I, I got my work cut out for me today. Um, these are all brand new within the last, the last little bit here. Now, if somebody has a green icon, it means they did a one-time order. I don't love seeing green icons because it means I didn't do my job in helping them understand our smart chip program. So I really want people to get started just with that smart chip, knowing that they can cancel it, but they, I want them to have that better price uh, sooner than later. So the, hopefully this will load again. If they show up as orange, then that means they're on smart chip. So orange indicates that they did sign up for a smart chip and let's see if I have one. So Kathy is a uh, promoter. The reason that I'm, I have a lot of greens right here is because right now the reboot's available and generally the reboot people, they don't know if they're gonna love it or if they're gonna hate it and they're not ready to commit to doing it every month yet. So they generally sign up as just one-time customers. 
Now it's, it's on me to make sure that they have a good experience and then help them get set up with their favorite flavor of ketones on SmartShip kind of after that. Um, let's see here. Let's see if it loads. You'll see the orange is the other one. Um, that's taking a while to load, so I will go into insights. The other thing that you'll, you'll be able to really uh, have some a grip on is if you click on insights, it's going to show you um, what people ordered. So it's going to show me this Carol. She just ordered May 19th at 1046. She bought a reboot. She bought one of them. Now notice the volume has not populated yet. It takes, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes for it to populate. So let's look down here. This person, uh, Janie or Janine ordered the reboot at 1020. She's a customer. She's a new customer because it says new volume true. And then her order is $79. That's the reboot and the BV, which is the point value is 60. Notice this number fluctuates a little bit based upon price. This person here, Beth, she bought the uh, bundle pack, that starter pack. And you can see because it's only $78 a, a box because they're getting the 40% discount on it, the BV is a little bit less. Obviously, they can't pay out as much on a product that is discounted so heavily. Um, so that's kind of how you track it. Like you find out what somebody ordered. You can see it in there. Other thing to know, if you haven't figured this out yet, if you go to your order history, you're able to then go to smart ship or you can see where your orders are. Now you can see your invoice. And then this thing right here is really cool. It's your tracking and we just received this, but if you click on it, it will automatically open it up so that you can uh, see your tracking is probably will show delivered as it was delivered last week. So that is, kind of the, uh, the spots inside of your cloud that are important to take note of. Um, I see a couple other questions in here. Try to explain the electrolytes and pink salt to them to help them feeling sick and headaches they don't quite get before they get started. Um, mm -mm. If you, so if you log into your account, Michelle, I see your, your question um, and you don't see them there, I would message them and say, hey, just wanted to check in and make sure your order was able to go through. I don't see it on my end. And sometimes it, you have to ask and be proactive to make sure that they didn't have something happen. Or a lot of times what you'll find out is they said they did it and then they forgot that, or they said they did it and then they got mixed up and they just need a little bit of help with it. So I always follow up and on occasion, somebody who doesn't understand the internet very well, which is, is uh, quite often, um, will sometimes Google your address, your, your website, instead of typing it in the address bar. And when you Google nick.proveitnow.com and they click on the first result, they're searching prove it and they're just finding somebody's prove it website. They may not be going to mind. So if you're working with somebody over the age of, I don't know, 55 or 60, it's not uncommon that that would happen. So you just have to make sure. Now, Prove It has some mechanisms in place to prevent that because when they click to order, it makes them confirm that you're their promoter. But if they're not paying attention, I just had a customer, Becky uh, Young, she signed up and she ended up under this guy named Raj, who's, who's keto coach. Well, she's like, oh, Nick's a keto coach. It must be him. So she confirmed it and just kept going. I'm like, no, that wasn't me. So now we're having to have support move her back to where she's supposed to be. When you get there. Any questions um, from where we're at now before we move on? Well, fantastic. All right. Until we get two people on SmartShip, do we uh, do offer that discount for promoters? So when you're on a SmartShip yourself, you're getting 22% off. You always get that discount. You never pay full price. With the SmartShip, um, so if you all, let's say you signed up today, your first SmartShip runs June 20th, your second SmartShip runs July 20th, your third SmartShip would run August 20th. August 20th, you've been on SmartShip for three SmartShips, one, two, three. That means on the next smart chip that runs, you're gonna get an additional box for free. Every month it's a different flavor. It's kind of the flavor of the month. 
uh, depending on when your month falls. I think last month was Lime Time. This month, I think, is Heart Tart. So you actually get two boxes of ketones in the mail for the price of one. So if you're on Smart Chip for an entire year, you're getting four free boxes of just different flavors of ketones. So that's kind of the value, one of the values of our Smart Chip program for your customers. The other value is the fact that when we have special flavors launch, like the strawberry peach that just came out or the blueberry acai. Um, I was on a call last night and they, they schedule the amount of flavor that they create based upon past demand. And they made exactly as much as we had made of our seasonal flavors in the fall. And they actually had a lot of those left over. Well, crazy enough, we sold through that, ex that exact amount, which we took us like three months to sell through in two hours. Um, when we launched strawberry peach and it was less than an hour when we launched blueberry acai. So that just shows you the demand for ketones right now. Uh, so now they just upped the amount that they're creating. They, they multiplied it by like 250%. So uh, next runs of new flavors and stuff will be a lot more. So just stay tuned and uh, keep your eyes on the pulse. I'll always make sure that I put out the information as soon as I can or as soon as I see it. Um, but new flavors are fun. So let's talk a little bit more. That, that's kind of like nuts and bolts behind the scenes stuff. Let's talk about more, how do we share this? What do we say? How do we introduce this to people? Um, the first thing is like just your, the, I call it low hanging fruit. My mom, my dad, my sister, my buddies, like the first people that I messaged when I became a promoter. And I know I see some brand, brand, brand new faces. And I see some other people that maybe you've been doing this for a month. And I bet you there's people in your phone that you haven't reached out to yet. And I want to help you just with some language. So I'm going to put in the chat a kind of a sequence that you can follow that will really help. Um, I believe will really help you kind of have an idea or a perspective of this is how I share this. Um, and this is what I say, because generally what I find, I had a lady who uh, I was messaging with new promoter last week and she said, Hey, um, yes, Laura, this is recorded. So you will be able to access it and I will make sure to share it, uh, once it is processed. Um, so she said to me, Nick, I've messaged 10 friends and none of them want it. Right. And maybe some of you have messaged some friends and you've had some no's. But I immediately said, what, like, hey, what are you saying to them? And she sent me back this uh, paragraph that she was sending people and basically saying, hey, I'm doing this stuff and it's amazing. I think you'd really like it. And uh, um, do, you want, do you want to try it? <laughs> um, and it, the problem was she was saying so much that they were making a decision in that split second if they wanted to buy it or not. I don't want them to decide if they're going to buy this based upon three sentences out of my mouth. I want them to decide if they're interested in learning more, right? So our goal is to create curiosity. We call it attract, connect, experience, and roll. That's our system. Create curiosity. We're going to connect them with information. We're going to offer them to experience the product in some way or another, and we're going to enroll them in our community and what we're doing. So let me paste this in the chat real quick, and then I'm going to walk through kind of how this works. So the heck, I just – my computer's not pacing. Hang on one second. Da, 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 da. Oh, I know why. It's too long. Um, so uh, the goal here is to create curiosity. So when I reach out to somebody, I'm saying something very short. When somebody reached out to me, my friend called me and said, Nick, what do you know about ketones and ketosis? And I said, nothing. Why? He said back to me, I found something you're going to love. And guess what I said back to him? What? <laughs> um, he created curiosity. So here is just a, in the chat, you will see, um, ba, 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 this, this, these steps are actually for if somebody comments on your post, but let's say that step number one for this is saying, Hey, I found something you're going to love. Hey, I haven't talked to you for three weeks. It's been a long time, but I found something I think you're going to love. Are you drinking ketones yet? 
So write that down if you're new. Are you drinking ketones yet? Oh my gosh, I just found this stuff. I'm feeling amazing. Are you drinking ketones yet? They're probably going to say, no, what are those? Or they're going to say, is that that stuff you just posted about? What is it? Then you're going to say, oh my gosh, girl, I love them. If I shoot you over a three minute video, would you watch it? You see the process there? You're just introducing, hey, I found something I think you'd love. You're like, what is it? Oh my gosh, ketones, I've been drinking them. They're amazing. If I sent you a video, would you watch them? Would you watch it? I think you'll love this. You see, all I'm doing here is I'm creating curiosity and then I'm helping them kind of go through the process. Then they, when they say yes, here's, here's a great little, no, this is just, these are words that have been put together that are a great kind of uh, process to follow, but I want you to be you and use your words, but awesome. What, what benefits would you want to see the most? You can go through these and then you send them the video and the video is going to be your challenge.com video. So if you send them to challenge.com, it shows the campfire video. If you haven't gone there, go there. Um, if you need, if you don't know what your particular link is, um, I will show you where to find it really quick. If you're going to go to the home page, and let me share again. On your home page, you're going to see this box that says share. So notice I'm logged into my account. I'm home share and under share here it says marketing link and it's got challenge if they're just going to buy a straight up box tones prove it now.com works and shop keto does also i don't use drink sample very much that's kind of an older one experience keto uh is great for if you're trying to sell samples but really to start with I, i'm going to use challenge and i'm going to use um prove it now okay that's where you find your like now, if I ever ask you, what's your referral code? You're like, I don't know, what's a referral code? This is your referral code. My referral code is Nick. Your referral code is what is ever in front of challenge.com or whatever is in front of proveitnow.com. If it's not something that's unique to you, meaning if it's still a series of letters and numbers, what you're gonna do is go to settings and you're gonna go to refer code and you're gonna click edit, edit and save, and then it will change your referral code to whatever you want it to be. I just recommend that you have something simple that you can remember and that's easy to spell. Um, let's see, what wording do you use when following up with people who purchase samples from, uh, samples from you? Great question. Linda, you're full of great questions. Keep asking questions, guys, don't hesitate. Um, if so, when somebody goes through this process, let me talk through this uh, and then I'll answer that question, Melinda. They respond back, they're getting a video and they're, they're saying, hey, can I answer any questions? Would you like to see options for trying ketones? I have this neat little thing that I have been using, which you guys are welcome to use, which I think gives some great options for people to get started. And I'm gonna paste it in here. Um, basically, I'm telling them the different options that they have, including, trying a trial pack from me. And if this isn't too long. So here we go, option, here are the different options to get started. Number one, 40% off bundle pack. That's what all you got started with, the Dollar Keto Club. A customer can do that too. They don't have to click the promoter button. Um, that gives them an option. Option two, the 10 day during ketones challenge kit, $99, option three, a five or 10 day trial pack from you, prices start at 40 or 70 bucks. Um, I charge 40 for five, 70 for 10. Let me know which option sounds best to you and I can give you the appropriate link. When you're somebody these options, they're gonna, they're gonna respond and now you, they have an option, right? And guess what, it's option one, two or three, it's not option yes or no. A lot of times you say, hey, do you wanna try it? They're gonna say yes or no. You say, hey, which option do you want? Their brain generally goes to, I want one, two, or three, right? And I've sold a lot of trial packs as a result of sending them these options. Um, if you get asked what the cost is, I say, well, it depends on the option that you choose. Um, check out this video and I can send you the different options to get started. We have a lot of different ways and if you love it, I'll teach you how to get it for free. So that's a great question, Greg. 
um, they, they chose option three and they are ordering a, a pack from me. And by order, I mean they're three bucks and I'm giving them five servings <laughs> or they're Venmoing me or they're PayPaling me. This option three is not done through prove it. Option three is what you utilize the product that you just bought or the product that you have on SmartShip to fulfill. So we're, I'm not in the Mary Kay business, so I don't retail whole boxes. I don't buy product in order to sell it. I, I sell trials. I'm in the sampling business. The only difference between me and Costco is that if you were back before COVID, if you were at my uh, free sample stand, I'd be like, uh-uh, 25 cents for that, that uh, you know, half of a chicken nugget. <laughs> Put your quarter in and I'll give you some chicken nuggets. Um, we don't, I don't generally give ketones to people for free unless I'm giving them one to try if they're a stranger or if it's my mom. I honestly didn't sell my mom her samples. I know some of you probably should charge your family because they won't take it seriously unless you do. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Um, but everybody is a little different. So as far as following up, so great question, Melinda. If somebody did buy a five uh, serving trial pack from you, I am connecting them with more information through the process, right? I'm connecting them with more resources as we go. And how do I do that? I'm texting them videos either from Prove It's YouTube or Prove It TV, or I'm getting them onto guest calls, or I'm helping them just uh, with more details and more information. So, um, Melinda, I would be reaching out to them. The first thing I'm asking is, hey, what's been your favorite flavor? Hey, did you notice that you were a little less hungry or that you had more energy? I try not to assume everybody's experience is going to be the same. Um, raise your hand if the first day you drink ketones, like you just, you notice crazy energy. You felt amazing. Like a lot of shift happened. Um, Linda's raising her hand. I see Becky uh, nodding. I see Joan going nuts over there. Um, raise your hand if it took like five days. Okay. Raise your hand if it took, okay, three, Greg says. I mean, I didn't really experience the crazy energy until day like 10, 10 to 14. But the person that shared this with me thought that I was gonna experience exactly what they did. And they experienced it within uh, 30 minutes. So like literally within 30 minutes, it was like windshield wipers on her brain and they're just like, they were completely focused and like life changed in 30 minutes. So she calls me 30 minutes later, oh my gosh, did you feel it? I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so you have to create space for everybody to have their experience. And I use language like, hey, it may take a couple weeks. However, a lot of people will experience energy. They'll experience more mental clarity. Uh, they will be less hungry. So I'm focusing on things that are pretty, like it's pretty common for somebody not to be as hungry when they're drinking ketones. It's pretty common to just have this kind of steady energy. And those are things that usually happen a little bit quicker. However, some people might be in that, that says uh, Dana said it took me a couple weeks to put together all the changes. That's awesome. I know if somebody gives us a solid shot for 30 days, they're going to notice a difference, right? And the really cool thing and the reason that we've, uh, this has grown so fast is many, many people have a crazy experience in the first five days. Um, so that's, kind of the beauty of it. So as far as follow-up goes, Melinda, it's really just asking questions, finding out what they, what they want, helping them create a vision for what they're going to do with this, a vision for them getting healthier and feeling better, and then asking them, you know, what's your favorite flavor? The next step is to get started, um, you know, as either a customer or with our Dollar Keto Club as a promoter, which do you think would be best for you? Hey, do you want to be a customer? Or do you want to be a promoter? Which do you think would be the best option for you? I chose to be a promoter because I'm really excited about how I'm feeling. And I figured I could share it with a few people, earn it for free and earn beyond that. Or if you have a little bit bigger vision, I really want to impact people. I want to create something with this. I'd love for you to join me. Um, but you're asking that question. And then another big thing is the connection point, right? Connect isn't just to uh, videos, it's also to human beings. So each of you, if you don't already, you will shortly have some sort of prove it mentor or you have myself that you should be putting into a chat, whether it's Joan, whether it's Liz, Aisha, Christina, Danica, whoever uh, you're working with in addition to me, you're basically just saying, hey, I've got to connect you to my friend, Nick, 
he's been drinking this longer than I have. He's had tons of experience on the product and can help answer that question. Uh, Greg yesterday had a friend that was interested and Greg texted me and said, hey, how do I explain, how do I answer how much does it cost? It's a great question, Greg, put me in a chat with him. I don't, uh, you guys don't need to be answering any questions. <laughs> I know it's counterintuitive, uh, but honestly, for the first six months, I didn't answer any questions. All I did was put them on the phone with my friend, Mitch. I'm like, here, talk to my buddy, Mitch. He knows all the answers. So if you're talking to somebody and all you do is put me on the phone with them, you can call me. Nick, I got somebody on the phone. I always have time to talk to people about ketones and to answer people's questions about ketones. So especially if you have somebody that's like, that's excited about it and they just have questions or put me in a text chat. All I ask is that when you connect somebody in a text with myself or with any of your Prove It mentors, make an introduction. Um, some of the chats I get put in, it's like, like basically you came into my office here, you brought your friend and then you ran out of the room. <laughs> Said, hey friend, hey, hey Nick, this is Susie. And then you left. I'm like, okay, who's Susie? Susie's looking at me like, who's Nick? Why are we here? So if you're gonna make an introduction, say, hey, this is my friend, Nick. Um, he's been drinking ketones longer than I have and can help answer your questions. He's super awesome. If you say nice things about me or nice things about Joan or nice things about whoever you're working with, then they'll at least, we have some credibility. You have to give us that credibility. But then before you leave, you have to introduce me to your friend. Hey, this is my friend, Susie Q. Even if you did it outside of this chat, if you do it inside of the chat, then I know and Susie Q know that we know each other. Otherwise, we're guessing what you told the other person about the other person, right? So if you tell me who she is and what she's interested in and why we're in this chat together, and same with her, now we can be friends and I can help answer the question. The reason that we do this is so that they don't judge ketones based upon how they judge you. Everybody judged me in the beginning as the airline pilot who all of a sudden started to sell ketones. I'd sold anti-aging skincare, I'd sold greetings, I'd sold a lot of other things prior to this. I had a dog food, or I had a uh, beer and uh, beer and wine sampling business, right? So when I'm like, hey, you got to look at these ketones, things are like, oh, what now, Nick? I'm like, no, this stuff's legit. Let me send you a video. If I send it to you, will you watch it? They say, yes. I said, great. So they go watch the video. Then they're like, well, what about this, this, and this? I'm like, uh, one sec, let me connect you with my friend. Hey, Mitch, I want you to meet Captain Floyd. He and I are flying right now, and we just landed, but I, um, he's got some questions about ketones. Mitch, uh, Floyd, this is my buddy, Mitch. Mitch is super awesome. He knows a ton about ketones. He's been drinking it longer than me. He can help answer your questions. Floyd, Mitch, Mitch, Floyd. Bam, now Mitch can answer the questions. Uh, Floyd gets his questions answered. He's, uh, he's really, really, uh, he's able to see it through clear eyes, right? Does anybody have questions about, um, let's see, Dana has a good question. Um, what is the wording to use so we don't make them feel uncomfortable? Dana, they only feel uncomfortable if you feel uncomfortable. So if I'm very wishy-washy about, like, if you don't have confidence that I'm going to treat your person well, we need to have more conversation that so, you, so that you believe in me, right? Or if you don't have confidence that Joan or somebody else will treat your person well. Um, so if you have confidence around it, here's what you do. You tell your person what you're gonna do and why it's amazing. If they, so if you're talking to Susie Q, and you're like, Susie Q, that's a great question. I'm brand new at this, well, I'm gonna connect you. Notice I said, I am going to. I didn't say, would it be okay if, if I'm asking their permission, guess what they're going to say? Eh, they think it's weird. But if I have energy and confidence, say, oh my gosh, I'm going to connect you to my buddy, Nick. He's amazing. Um, and he can help answer your questions. You've got to hear his story. This stuff's so cool. One second. Boom. They don't have any negativity to associate with. They feel good. They like it, right? They're enjoying what's going on. Um, whereas the opposite, like, so I used to connect pilots while I was flying, not in the air, but when we landed with my friends and when I would get in ready to leave the cockpit, I'd be like, here, I'm going to call my friend so you can talk to him. He's amazing. And he'll be better able to answer your questions. One second, bam, within 30 seconds, like my buddy, Captain Floyd might've been a little bit like, huh? But by 30 seconds into it, he's like, oh, wow, I like this guy. This is fun. This is interesting. So Dana, my recommendation to you is just be excited about making the connection. And then when you make the connection, just have some confidence in it. And they don't generally feel uncomfortable or weird. I'm, I'm getting connected and 
chats with women talking about diarrhea and all sorts of stuff. And usually it's, uh, it just works, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, awesome. One drink a day keeps them energized all day, or do you recommend they drink several throughout the day to maintain and fuel the energy level? Laura, it's totally up to them. Um, one is fantastic. Two is even better. So it's kind of like the 10 day drink ketones challenge is having them drink it twice a day. Um, I don't want them to think they have to buy three boxes a month in order to do this though. So most of my customers are on a one box a month smart chip and they buy a second box every time there's a sale or every time there's a new flavor. So they have some flavor flexibility. A lot of them will be on two boxes a month. Uh, that's 40 servings. So they drink it twice a day on days that are really hard and they drink it once a day the rest of the time. Keto Boss Babe, my wife, drinks it twice a day, um, probably 10 days a month and once a day the rest of the time. Days where she's got a really long day with the kids, she drinks it um, twice. So I know we're getting a, long, a little long here, um, but hopefully this has been some good information. The last thing that I wanted to cover is just social media and Facebook. And if you're brand new, I want you guys to get a post up. Um, Michelle, I've been sharing your post with everybody because it was so great. And uh, the one that, that, that we had talked about you making, um, in fact, maybe I can pull it up here. When you're getting started, what you wanna do when you post is share a story about what ketones are doing for you or why you're excited about them. So I know some of you are started for the first time and you've never drank ketones before. And you're like, Nick, what can I, I can't post. Well, yes, you can. I'll help you with that in a second. Some of you have already had an experience or you've posted in the past and you're like, what do I post now? I want you to think about like, write down whatever your favorite benefits are of ketones. And then those, that's the story to tell. And it isn't, I love drinking these because I have energy. It's how does that energy show up for you? what does that look like differently than it did before? If it's something around um, quarantine, if it's something around getting less fluffy, if it's something around the quarantine 15, um, that's really, really powerful. So Michelle, do you mind if I read what we had posted? That's fine. That's fine. I mean, cause it was a killer post and you got some crazy engagement on it. Um, it let's see here. Er, er, er. So Michelle and I were talking and I always like my biggest goal is to be authentic and be real. So you have to post what's real for you. Um, but she said, so excited. I had success on keto in the past, but haven't maintained it. Found something that makes this simple, sustainable and a lifestyle, not a diet. So pumped for this new journey. Goodbye. Quarantine 15. That right there, like it hits all the things, right? It's powerful. And notice there's a picture of her, right? And I love that, Michelle, that you did that. Um, a lot of people are like, I don't want to put my face on Facebook. Um, people want to see your face. Faces is everything. What? It's called Facebook. Chrissy's over here. Uh, she says, it's called Facebook for a reason because it needs to have your face on it. Um, it's funny, when I talk to, I, I always try to do a call. I've, done a call with all of you at some point and when I'm calling somebody new I'm going to your Facebook so that I can see your face so that I know who I'm talking to but sometimes it's so hard to find people's faces because it's picture of the kid picture of the family picture of the dog but there's you nowhere to be found I'm like who are you um, that's why I love having the videos on because I can see all your faces did you know that we're like computers our brains are better than computers as far as facial recognition goes and once somebody sees your face like they know you right they can recognize it um, so the more that you put that on Facebook, the more uh, just recognition that that has, and then they're, they're drawn to it and they want to see what you're doing. So if you haven't put a post up like this yet, I would recommend doing it today. If you already have and you're looking for something to put up, I would say um, message with me about what you want to say and think about it like this, before ketones, since drinking ketones, why you're excited. Before ketones, since drinking ketones, why you're excited. That's kind of the format, right? Notice Michelle said, I've had success on keto in the past, but I haven't maintained it. That was before. She said, found something that makes it simple, sustainable, and a lifestyle, not a diet. That was now. So pumped for this new journey, goodbye quarantine 15. That's what she's excited about. That's the future. So that is kind of like, that's how we frame it. If you used to struggle to play with your kids and be present, uh, 
now you like have all this energy and you can chase them around and you're excited because you're uh, like, you can't wait for all the things, fun things you're going to get to do this summer. Like that's kind of the framework. So tell a little bit of a story. Think about that a little bit. Don't overthink it. Um, but what I invite you to do is just text me, Hey, this is what I'm thinking of posting and then I'll help you tweak it. And uh, Jennifer and Diana can, can relate because we've gone back and forth many times about different posts that they've put up. Um, other thing is just some, some things just to remember, don't post your link in Facebook because you want people to ask you a link and you want to share it with them. The problem when you say, when you post a link is everybody will click it and then they'll make a split second decision of if they want it or not without actually having any information. So our job is to create enough curiosity that they want to watch a video, not say, here's the video, watch it. it uh, posting your link is like on the first date, the dude just, hey, how's it going? Bam, kisses the girl on, on the lips. She's like, I, I wasn't even asking for that. I wasn't ready. He's gotta get her curious enough and excited enough about him so that at the end of the night, she's like, she's, she's leaning in, he's leaning in, she's coming back. Right? So you want to create some curiosity on Facebook so that they're saying, hey, I want more information. Tell me what this is. And then privately, you're going to say, hey, I'll private message you. Hey, I'll message you. That is uh, done for a reason also because everybody else that's watching is saying, I want to know. Tell me more about it. What is this? Message me too. Message me too. Um, let's see. I see a question. Dana, you're full of good questions today. I love it what's the best response when people say they're scared or not into the keto diet? I say, awesome. This isn't a diet. It's a drink. The number one misunderstanding of ketones is that you have to do the ketogenic diet to do it. Now, most of our community is doing some form of keto because that happens to be what we talk about on Facebook. Um, however, 70% of prove it's customers don't do the diet. 70% just do the drink and life falls in place behind it. You don't have to do keto to drink ketones. So I say, ah, it, good thing. You know, most people don't actually do the diet well enough to be in ketosis. And most, like everybody that, I, uh, the problem in the world today with keto is that it's, oh, I did keto. They don't live a keto lifestyle. They did that diet. My neighbor is still talking about, oh yeah, I think I might have to do keto again. I'm like, well, why don't you just eat low carb and add in good healthy fats? Um, blah, blah, blah. We could go on a soapbox here, but that's my best uh, response to that. All right. Any other questions before we sign off? I'd love, um, I'd love for all of you to message a handful of people today with the wording we talked about earlier and also post something on Facebook and then let's see what starts to unfold. Um, the other thing is Thursday night, we're going to be doing a guest call. It's going to be at 8.15 Central Time. And it's going to be designed for you to invite your friends to hop on and learn a little bit more. Right? We do them um, once or twice a week. You, you probably were on one before you got started with um, Very similar to that. Low key, lots of fun. Um, where do you find your link, Becky? You go to your homepage. And then you go to uh, share and under share, you're gonna see your link. I'll show you guys that one more time. But so in all of this, you can start inviting for Thursday night's call. Um, you can start at answering, or you can start creating curiosity and say, oh my gosh, we have a call coming up Thursday night. Would you be interested? We're gonna have some action. We might even do an action hour on Thursday at some point in order to just spend time inviting. Um, Becky, this is where you find your website, right here under share. And then you're gonna see the links here. Those are the websites to share. Uh, so keep that in mind, Thursday night at uh, whatever time it is, 8.15 Central Time, it'll be on Zoom like this. And it, honestly, if you have two, three, four, five people on that Zoom, like they will leave excited. If you feel like you have, hey, I've, Nick, I've got like five friends that I think would love this, or I have three friends that I think would love this, and you want to set up a private call just for you and your couple of friends, let's do it. Like, I'm totally open to that. I've got time in my calendar to make it happen. We'll get either my, get myself and then maybe whoever uh, the Proven Mentor is you're working with on just to share our stories and answer questions. Those, honestly, are even more impactful than the larger guest Zooms when we can speak kind of privately with you. So 
example, I'm doing one tonight with Jennifer and a few of her friends. Um, I've been, I did one on Sunday with another promoter. I did one, we just do them pretty consistently. So you don't like schedule those that that's up to you. I would love, love, love if every one of you booked my calendar for a private, uh, just guest soon with three or three to five of your friends. Um, in fact, it doesn't even need to be more than five, like two, three, four, five people just answering questions, sharing stories. It's really intimate and it usually uh, has great, great results. Um, any other questions? Good seeing y'all. Trina, good to see ya. I like your picture. Joan, I like your background. Belinda, you had some good questions. Laura, I still think you're in San Francisco, but I know you don't live in San Francisco. All right, well, hey, um, if you need anything, you guys all have my phone number, text is best. Uh, you can always drop questions into the Dollar Keto Club chat. That's what it's there for. Uh, as well as to uh, let everybody know when things are happening. So thanks for hopping on. Appreciate you guys and uh, excited for your journey. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.